Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam Amma ba'd, ahabita billah We must rejoice and be grateful and thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the ni'mah, the sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because the path of the Prophet والسلام, is the path to success. It is the minhaj rabbani. You know, it's the prophetic minhaj and methodology and the way of the most refined education that the believer can have. And it is the way of the Prophet والسلام, and his sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And the Prophet والسلام, said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata. It's upon you, my sunnah, and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifa. And the Prophet وسلم, said, after mentioning that the Ummah would break into 73 sects, the Prophet وسلم, mentioned that the Ummah would break into 73 sects and, he's, and then was asked, who are they? Who are the saved ones, Ya Rasulullah? And he mentioned that they are those who are upon what I'm upon and my Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. So it's that path of the Salaf Salih. The Prophet sallallahu said, Khayr al-Nas qarni thumma ladhini yulunhum thumma ladhina yulunhum. The best people are those people of my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. And I want to read just a couple of statements of the Salaf, and I've been thinking about this. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, book that I downloaded, and maybe we'll read from it from time to time. But I'll just read a few statements to begin, uh, which really is just a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters to adhere to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Minhaj of the Salaf, not to get soft. Because when we are out in the world and we're faced with our trials and tribulations and the struggle, just trying to survive and all the other issues, and then we see the reaction that some of the our brothers and sisters in Islam have towards the Sabil, uh, the Salaf Asadiq, and that many people are moving to secularism and moving to more contemporary ideologies and movements, this can sometimes affect your heart and sometimes it can discourage you and sometimes you feel that perhaps that maybe you're not on the right path. But if we look at how the Salaf guarded their Islam and how they realized that ni'mah, even if they were few in numbers, then we will realize the ni'mah of the Sunnah and we will strive to be upon it and adhere to it and give glad tidings to those who are upon the Sunnah, the idnillah ta'ala. Listen to this uh, narration from Mujahid, one of the Mufassireen, one of the Tabi'een, يقول إمام مجاهد ابن جبر المكي and he died in 101 Hijri رحمه الله تعالى he said ما أدري أي نعمتين علي أعظم أن هداني للإسلام أو أعفاني من هذه الأهواء and this is in سنة سنن درامي in this ather of the Salaf, of Imam Mujahid, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon him, he said, I don't know what is a great, greater blessing from, the, from two blessings. Ni'matain, ni'matain or ni'matan. He said, these ni'matain alay, a'adham. He doesn't know what is a greater blessing that's been bestowed upon him than these two blessings. He's not sure which one is, is greater. He said that I was guided to Islam or that I was saved from ahwa. I was saved from desires. And the desires here is meant, uh, the desires, not just the desires of the uh, shahwat, you know, the physical desires of the sexual desires and things like this, but it was the ahwa of ahla bid'ah. This is why you find in the, the classical text a lot of times they spoke about al-ahwa. 
you know, the desires. And this meaning those who desired really other than the son of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in their madhab, in their minhaj, in their methodology. Like the Khawarij, like the Mu'tazila, like the Ashariya, like the, or the Ashaira, or like the uh, Jahamiya, like the Qadariya, uh, and all these other groups and sects, the Murjiya and the Khawarij and others, and Shia, all of these groups and sects who broke away from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah and differed with Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. So they were known as the people of Bid'ah and Ahwa and desires. And so he is saying here that both of those are the most greatest ni'mah. And he's saying, I don't know which one is greater. The fact of being, uh, just being a Muslim or being guided to the sunnah, basically, to be away from Ahl al away from the itiqad of Ahl al and the minhaj of Ahl al May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from Ahl sunnah Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. وَيَقُولْ أَيُوبَ أَسْسِخْتِيَانِ رَحِمَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى He died 131 Hijri. He said, إِنَّ مِنْ سَعَادَةَ الْحَدَثِ وَالْعَجَمِ أَنْ يُوَافَقُهُمَ اللَّهِ لِعَالَمٍ مِنْ أَهْلُ السُّنَّةِ And this is in Shar Asul Al-Itiqad Ahl Al-Sunnah لِلْأَلَلَقَائِلِ Imam Ayyub Sakhtiani, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, from the happiness, you know, this happy happiness that comes from blessing, uh, for those who are new to Islam and those who are foreign, foreigners, meaning not Arab, and this is uh, uh, how I interpret these 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 words as far as the translation bidnillah ta'ala is that they were guided to uh, guided by Allah Allah give them gu guidance to an alam from ahlus sunnah so here again we see the importance that the salaf were concerned about ilm fiqh fi deen and fiqh in the ahl sunnah that they were concerned about uh, staying upon the minhaj of the salaf as salih and that this is a ni'mah for those people who were guided to Islam and, guide, and, and, and were not Arab and they were guided by Allah to sit with an, 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 uh, an, a scholar from ahl sunnah because what? Then they're going to benefit from the qawaid and the soul of ahl sunnati wal jama'ah. ويقول إمام يونس ابن عبيد البصري رحمه الله تعالى who died 139 Hijri رحمه الله تعالى he said العجب ممن يدعو اليوم إلى السنة وعجب منه المجيب إلى السنة and this is in شرح السنة لإمام بابهاري رحمه الله تعالى so Imam Yunus ibn Ubaid al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, Strange is the one who calls in this time to the sunnah. Look at this. This is in 139 Hijri. So it shows that they were concerned even back then because there was so much bid'ah that was being spread, that began to be become spread after the time of the Sahaba. During the time of the Sahaba, there was, you know, the, the Qadariya began to appear, the Khawarij were there, and the Shia. In, in the time of Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, meaning uh, the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, that these groups began to appear. So the Salaf were scared about losing their religion and being and their deen being tainted and distorted by Ahl bid'ah. So they were trying to preserve, and this is why we have those Qawaid and Usul of Ahl Sunnah on how they dealt with Ahl bid'ah and how they dealt and dealt with one another and how they avoided bid'ah and how harith they were ala ilm. And so he said, strange is the one who in this time who calls the sunnah. This is 139 Hijri or before then because he died in 139 Hijri. SubhanAllah. And they're saying that it was strange that someone is calling to the sunnah. 
And he said, and stranger than that is the one who accepts the sunnah. So what about now? We're 1440 Hijri now. We're 1,300, uh, almost 300 years later than this. 1,300 years later. So how much stranger is it to find a da'i, to find an alim who calls the sunnah, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And even stranger is those people who accept the call to the book of Allah and the sunnah, the messenger of Allah, and to follow the sabil of the salaf. It's, it's rare and it's very, and it's not an easy path because there's so much out there to help to, to hurt us and compromise our faith and compromise us uh, being on the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Wa yaqul Imam Sufyan al-Thawri rahimahullah ta'ala who died 161 hijri Estosu bi ahl sunnati khayran fa innuhum ghurada Sufyan Athawri rahimahullah ta'ala said what means in general that you know being on the sunnah calling to the sunnah is the is the best khayran for verily they are the strangers they're the ghuraba so this is in before 200 years Hijri, that the Salaf were worried about Bid'ah and Ahla Ahwa. And we're talking about how strange it is to find someone on the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it traversing the Madhab of the Salaf. What about now? So we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us all with the khlas, with the bad, and bless us to be on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and bless us to remind one another and call one another to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.